here YouTube, I'm back again today for another gameplay video, and today I'm very excited to check out 100 Tori from Pencil First Games LLC. This is for one to four players, age is eight plus, taking about 45 minutes to play, and in 100 Tori we are going to be walking through a beautiful garden, petting cats, drinking pina coladas, eating cauliflower and noodles, going over bridges, seeing beautiful statues, doing all sorts of stuff like that, but there is going to be a super stupid, annoying old lady at the park ruining our day, so we're going to try and one-up her all day by scoring more points what am i talking about let's get into how it works so first i've got this set up i've got the red tile in the middle it's a, a wild tile you're always going to be able to connect at the beginning of the game i got my little player aid thing here i start with two coins because i suck so if you're a little baby frog who sucks you get two coins if you're a big bad eagle you get no coins and this player board is actually really useful once you understand how it works and you will as we go so let's just get it started first thing i'm going to do every single turn is i'm going to draw three tiles and let's see what we got so on the tiles, you're going to see these little symbols right here. They match all these little tokens. Those tokens will count as currency, and they will also get you victory points. Now, what you're trying to do is you're trying to collect, connect, a uh, make a long path that matches two symbols. So, for instance, uh, matching this to that would let me score those tokens right there. But if you go through gates, it's going to help you even more. So this is a really good tile because it's got two separate gates in it. But it's not actually going to let me score anything right now, which is not really that helpful. So this might be a time that I might want to consider using one of my special abilities. So I think I will. I'll spend one coin, and you won't see coins too often in this game, uh, to use the vendor. So I'm going to collect the vendor token right here, which means, boom, I'll get two points at the end of the game. Good for me. And now I also get to discard a tile and draw, uh, and draw a new one and then play it. And I can play one of the three. So this tile is going to be really good later on, potentially. But right now, not so much. So let's get rid of it and draw this one, which is the exact same thing, but slightly different. That's disappointing. So, yeah, we're going to bite the bullet. We're going to play this. This is a long con. This is a longer game. Well, it's not that long, but it's a long con here. So we're going to play this. We don't actually score anything, which is terrible, because I was trying to ex explain to you how this works, but now I can't. So... Because normally you would want to connect to that symbol, but since I don't connect to any of these symbols, I don't get it. Now you might say, oh, there's that symbol there and that symbol there, but look, that's part of the path that's not connected. I could score a token if I did this, but I don't want to close it off. So I'm going to do that. All right. So now what we do with the two leftover tiles is we have to place them up here and we match the symbol. So this is the Pina Colada. So it goes right there, and this one is the bridge, so it goes right there. And once they get to a certain number of these, the Onatsu is going to start scoring points. So that wasn't too bad, except we do have a Tori that we gave her as well. And when you get that Tori, you get the penalty. So for a blue, you have to get rid of two of your tokens. Ha ha, shut your face, Onatsu, I only have one. And then she's like, oh, why are you bragging about being broke? And I'm like, oh, crap, I am broke. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, two reds. Whew, that's really nice. But once again, that doesn't do anything for us. It doesn't connect anything. But man, once it does, that would be popping. We don't even have a coin, so we can't spend our money to do one of these special abilities either. This is super disappointing. I think we might need to go like this. I think we might just take the pina colada because then, um, yeah, I think we'll take the pina colada. <clears throat> And you'll actually get to see how it works, which is good. So we're going from Pina Colada to the other Pina Colada, which means we're going to immediately score one Pina, Papal, right there. And then we're also going to get the bonus for the red and for the blue. So the bonus for the red is you get one of whatever that symbol is. So we get another Pina. And the bonus for the blue is you get one of anything you want. So we'll take the noodle. So now... Back to this. We have to distribute this. So this bridge goes right here. And this is really bad for two reasons. So first, now that they have two bridges, they are going to score the five-point bonus. Now, it also has two Tories on it. We can check right here and see. Uh, oh, no. That means that they get two of these guys. And that really stinks. So they right now have 13 points. We're getting crushed a little bit. It's not looking good. Hopefully we can shape things up. Now this one, we can either decide to give it to them on the red or decide to give it to them on the white. And we're already losing on the red, so let's just pile on to red. 
Mm, no, let's spread it out. Let's spread it out. Let's spread the wealth. Let's go right here. All right. So nothing happens there. No Tories. And we draw three more tiles. But now we got money. We got money, baby. Let's spend some of it. Okay. So we could do this. But once again, that doesn't help us. But... It could because we can afford the Geisha. So the Geisha is very powerful, and she is going to cost three. But what she's going to do is she's going to allow us to play two tiles. And I do believe with the first tile, you just kind of ignore everything on the tile. Let me make sure I get that absolutely correct. The player may place both of their tiles this turn, scoring tokens for the second tile only. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> However, you may still gain enclosure cards when playing either of the tiles because you can, like, enclose off little areas. Um, but I'm not doing that right now. So, man. Actually, I, I could enclose off this area. That's – but then I would – but then I'd be giving up the gravy train. I don't want to give up the gravy train because I love gravy. Oh, no. Do I have to enclose off the enclosure tile? Oh, this sucks. No, because I could play it somewhere else. I, oh, man. Yeah, I can do this. And I can play a second tile, and it doesn't have to be connected to that, it doesn't say. Uh, yeah, sweet. So I will play it somewhere else and at least score something. Score something. I'll get a cat, I guess. Cool. That was not worth the three bucks. No, 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 no. Nope, we get nothing. <laughs> we get nothing. You lose. Oh, no, I can do it like this. <gasps> oh, yeah, baby. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So we got the Geisha there. So we're going to get three for the Geisha. Okay. And if we, you can only use these characters twice per game. And the second time you use them, you get to flip them over to the four. They just automatically get them on the four because Unatsu is a jerk. But, so we have to hand this over and we can either make it a kitty cat or a bridge. I'll say we do it on the kitty cat, which does give them the kitty cat points though. Hey, kitty. And a red, which means that... They get, oop, the red. So what was it? The kitty? Oh, this guy right here. Who is, what is he? He's the, oh, they get the enclosure one. So, draw three new tiles. Let's see what we got. Give me something good. Come on, be nice. There it is. That's nice. That's what we have been looking for. That is so beautiful. Is there anything else better? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, that is that is so nice. So, first thing we did is we created an enclosure, which is whoop, right there. Which means we're going to get ourselves an enclosure point. Hooray. And I do believe for this one, I believe it goes to two for us. Let me double check that real quick. I don't actually think it's mentioned in the rules. If they get it on four... Yeah, I imagine we just get another one we upgrade it. All right, so next thing is the noodles. Let's take a look at the noodles. Now, if this were a noodle and this were a noodle, this would be really bad for us because that would mean it would – because it goes on the shortest path. But since it's not, you go ba-boom, 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 ba bam That is huge. So we, ne we immediately are going to get the noodle. Got the noodle. Looking good. Next thing is that we are going to get one, two, three, four, five – blue bonuses and the blue bonus is that you can take anything except for the noodle whatever you want but it can't be the noodle so what are we going to take how about we just take going hard on pina colada bam so the pina colada we we just grabbed a five because normally you grab five tokens but five tokens immediately turns into the big five point scoring thing and this thing cannot be lost think of it like a checkpoint in a video game that five is now mine forever which is great and we also go through one red which means we'll get another noodle so that was a good turn that was a great turn i feel good but let's see what we gave them so we gave them a bridge doo, 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 and we gave them the kitty cat which also has the blue tory which means we're gonna lose two tokens so bye bye noodles but we've got a machine going right here we got our machine going it's looking powerful it's looking super powerful hopefully we can keep it churning all right what do we got we only have Two of them with the uh, Tories on it, so that's not too bad. So we'll probably end up just giving this, which means they'll get the fourth bridge, which does stink, but hey, whatever. What it, is, it is what it is. They've gotten their 10 points. It was going to happen because... I'll read that in a second. 
place this right here. That wouldn't actually give me anything, would it? Oh, okay. No, but I can place that right there. And that's going to take me bridging, baby. Let's see. Is that going to go bridge? Bridge, 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 bridge. Boom. Or I could even go right here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I need to adjust the camera angle real quick. Let me get that. There we go. That's looking really solid. <laughs> that's looking really solid right there. Actually, I might just raise it up. I think that's the best. So that way, we can still see Onato's score. All right. So I think this is the play right here because the shortest path, that is still the shortest path to get to a bridge. No bridge, no bridge, no bridge, no bridge, no bridge. Yeah, I think that is obviously the way to go. So let's see what we're getting. We're going to get our one bridge. Always get the one bridge. And then we get... So we're going to get uh, one more bridge, two more bridges, three more bridges. So we just got four bridges, Papam, which also can be used as currency, don't forget. And then one, two, three, four, five, six blues, six of anything else we want, which means we could turn this straight up into a 10. I don't think that's advisable right now because once you get to 10, you can't get anything more. Wait, actually, can you? I, I Actually, let me double check that real quick because you might actually be able to get more. Let's check. Because uh, I had just assumed that you could only get one. But then again, that makes sense that you could get more than two. As soon as a player has five tokens of a type of landmark, the five tokens must be turned in for one five-point large match landmark token. And yes, I've read the rules like two or three times. Uh, it's just, for some reason, this game isn't clicking with me. I don't know why. As soon as a player has five tokens of a landmark and the five point card of that landmark, that player must turn in the five points and get the ten. Players may continue to earn and collect tokens for this landmark after they have flipped to the ten point side. Oh, so yes, that adds a whole new degree to the game that probably, I'm glad I didn't record the first gameplay of this because I screwed that one up. So now we do have ourselves a problem because they can start taking stuff from us. So, how many blues? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six coming at us. I think it's smart to lock down that other bridge. So let's take... Oh, but we can't make it a bridge, can we? We have to make it different. It has to be blue. Oh, man. Sad puppy. Okay. One, two, three. But we also can look at what we're going to be giving them. And what we're going to be giving them is we're going to lose four of our tokens. So we want to spend these tokens. Unless I block the bridge... I could block the bridge. Oh, I should block the rice. I could block the rice. That's not a bad idea. Because I haven't technically played this yet. We're going to reverse. Oh, but I didn't have any tokens. No, I couldn't. Never mind. That'd just be straight up cheating. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six of anything else I want. Let's go ahead and get. What do they have? Oh, get the kitty. Kitty makes sense. So now we're guaranteed to at least get 10 points on the kitty, and we're going to block them on the kitty, and we still have one more thing to get. Let's get, um, blah, let's just get, I don't care. Let's get the noodles, whatever. So now we got to give this to them because we're going to give them two noodles. Maybe we'll just stick two noodles on them. Yeah, we will. We'll stick two noodles on them because uh, you can choose either this or that. And we don't have any noodles yet, so we'll just put the two noodles there, and that's going to give them two blue Tory and one red Tory, which means... All of our tokens, uh, four of them. That sucks. Bam. And one red, which means that they get a one of these guys. They got a lot of points up there. <laughs> Not liking our chances. But we do we, we, we got some good stuff going on here. If we just need to get more money, I think I I think I really need to diversify the things I'm taking. I I don't know. Hmm. hmm. All right. So we got a lot of gates. First thing I'm going to do is actually, is this, is this kitty going to work? I think this kitty might work. Oh my goodness. If this kitty works for us, is there no kitties on here? No kitty, no kitty, no kitty, no kitty. Wow. That's going to get us a boatload of kitty points. So that is, that is the obvious play right there, I do believe. Okay. So that's good. And then what do we got over here? We're going to have to give these up. We have one coin we could spend, so we could potentially get rid of something. But I think that's all, I think that's probably just going to hurt us more than anything. Uh, let's see. And yeah, the vendor is the only one we can afford. So we'll just we'll, we'll hand over these. But let's score our points first, because I think we did pretty good here. So we got the kitty. So we're going to get a kitty. And then, wait, 
So we have one, two, three, four. So let's do the reds first. One, two, three. Because there's not as much sticking. So we're going to get three more kitties. One, two, three. Which hopefully we'll have that money to spend next time so we can use one of these cool guys. Uh, and then we also have one, two, no, we're taking on blues. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blues. So we can get seven of anything else that we would like. What are the obvious choices? We just talked about how we want to diversify our portfolio financially, but at the same time, man, it would be really nice if I could snatch up one of those bowls from them. Like, snatch up one of these things from them so they don't even get it. Like, that could be huge for us. So, um, we got a shot on noodles, and we got a shot on towers. So, let's... Let's take the noodles. Let's focus really hard on the noodles right now. And I'm just going to get seven noodles. So, one, two. Pa-pam. Okay. I'm feeling better. Feeling good. I think we're getting the ebb and flow of the game. And now, since we obviously we don't want to give them the noodles, we will give them that fourth. This So, that gets turned into a ten, which means this one is in play. We definitely need to focus on bridges, too, because, ooh. And then we have the one noodle. We'll give them the, ooh, we'll do the three right here. And we did have one blue toy, which means we lose two of our symbols. We'll take the kitty cat, get it out of play. Actually, let's let's swap that and let's keep a kitty cat. And get rid of a bowl, and we're drawing our three tiles. Getting some interesting choices going on here. Starting to see the depth and complexity of the game now that we're playing it correctly. Ooh, do we have noodles? Do we have noodles on the path? No noodles on the path? Oh my gosh, no noodles on the path. Let's look at this thematically. They're like, dude, if you put a noodle shop there, you are gonna bank so hard, man. No one else has got a noodle shop for like 18 blocks, dude. I don't think they used to talk like that, but maybe, who knows? <laughs> so, noodles, noodles, noodles. Oh, we also can use a special ability, which I think we absolutely should, because man, we could do this. We could do that right there. That's cray cray. Now it's going to cost us three resources. And it's going to use our Geisha for the last time. But hmm. we could also place a tile on top of another garden tile. That's pretty good. Ooh, that one's good too. Place a poet on a landmark. Oh, so I haven't even done that yet. So let's. Uh, I want to explain this one. So you place the poet meeple on top of a landmark on a tile. That landmark is no longer in play. Uh, so this is essentially going to block something. So once we do get to the point where we're like, oh, there's actually a noodle shop already along the way, we can place the poet to block the noodle shop because nobody wants to go to the noodle shop where the poet's doing the, their open poetry jam. Sorry, man. It's just nobody wants to go. <laughs> they'll go. They'll walk the extra four blocks to go to the one where you're not disturbing their lunch. All right. So that was... <laughs> That was a tangent. Let's see, what do we got? We got noodles, noodles, noodles. So we're gonna get one noodle just to start off with, which is awesome. And then we're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six noodles, six more noodles. So we immediately take a noodle bowl. Now I'm feeling foolish for, for giving that up. Uh, and one of these, wow. That is, that is, woo -wee. That's great. So how many blues do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blues. So we need to make sure we do this very intelligently. What do we want to do? I need to get the bridge before he does, but I could lock down the cat right now with seven of those. I also could, I could, I could almost lock up the noodles. I could almost lock up the noodles. Um, okay, so let's spread it out. Let's just do it a couple at a time. So let's do, so we have... How many do we have? Six. One, two, three, four, five, seven. So we're going to use three of them here. And we'll turn this into... No, no, no. We'll just we'll, we'll use all seven of them here. So how much is that going to be? That'll get us to 15. That's exactly what we need. That's perfect. So 10. Oh, we can't do that. I'm a noob. That's the last one we focus on. All right. So we had three of those already. We don't have to worry about that one. We can use that one as currency. So we want to focus on the ones that still have two out. What am I doing? Which is pina colada. So let's get let's get to 10, and then we'll get two more of the pinas. I think that's the smart play. We're also giving them a noodle bowl, which means their noodles turn to level four. Wait, no. Yeah. 
They should have already had one up there. Oh, I was racing for nothing. Noob. All right, so that's a 10. And that's good, though. That's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. House is on fire, but we're fine. All right. Oh, oh, oh. And since I used the Geisha, she gets flipped over to numero two. And this is taking up a good chunk of space right here. And, oh, this is, this is really nice because this means um, no Tori here, which means we can do this perhaps. Now, we do run into the issue. I think there's a cat to pet already along the way. There's the cat right there, which is why we will spend the three bucks or the three whatevers um, to and we'll get rid of these because we got plenty of time to get those to place the poet, the aforementioned poet who is petting the kitty right now. And you don't want to pet the same cat. That's kind of odd. Uh, actually, should I do it? Mm, pardon me, man. It's to curb it this way because I don't want to curb it that way. But I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Hopefully. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. So we got a kitty cat. We also get the poet, which is which one of these tiles is that poet? The old guy. And we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the cats. Which immediately makes me regret every light choice I've ever made in the history of Everness. Um, yeah, we'll take it. Whatever. So we're up to ten. And then we get two more. Two more cats. We can spend it. And then for the blue... We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can go with anything else. And I think this is our opportunity to lock up the pina coladas. So we'll spend four of them here because you can break it up. So we still have four more left to spend. That's big for us. Can we get noodles? We could do the noodles. Do the noodles big. Get it up to 10. Yeah, let's just do that. So we'll spend the four, which brings us up to 11. So we still have that. Noodles are still in play up there. That's nice, but we gotta give him a tower. We'll give him the bridge. No, I think I think since there's no more bridge. Oh yeah, there is a still bridge, so I guess he would still go for that. Hmm. Let me double check that real quick. As soon as I Okay, so, yep, once it has four, I have to go somewhere else. And there also was one wonky rule I want to—I remember reading that I feel like I should revisit right now before it potentially rears its ugly head, which is, and honestly, I think it's something that really sh needed to be on the player board or somewhere in front of you, because it, um, it was that Onatsu only competes for a certain number of things, which I found kind of odd. And let me see... Uh, place the solo board, score more objectives on your turn. Where was it? It's like she collects, she goes for all, she goes for all the five pointers, but then she only goes for three of the 10 pointers or something like that. It's really odd. Yes. Yeah, so Onasa keeps competes for all six scoring and three 10 scoring achievements. For all six scoring and three ten scoring achievements. What in the world? Wait, wait, let me, let me, let me read that again. Onatsu competes for all six scoring. All six scoring, which are these. Okay, so all six of the scoring and three ten scoring achievements. So she only goes for three of the ten pointers. So she can only get one more. Oh, so I don't need to worry about that. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, so... um. Did she play any gates? I don't think she did. I think we're good on the gates. That was really nice. It's a good turn. We draw three more tiles. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Hey, what's up? Ooh, this one has a gate. So I feel like we should play this one, even though it's not really great. Uh, we could play it on the noodles. That's actually not bad. Is there noodles along the way? There is noodles along the way. I remember it. Wait, no, there's not noodles along the way. <gasps> there's no noodles along the way? 
yeah, there's noodles right there. That's still, that's still, that's pretty, pretty respectable. Or we could not be a noob and spend our poet. Booyah, baby. Go block noodles. Yeah, that was actually the scenario I gave you earlier, which came to fruition. Beautiful. So we get ourselves a noodle. Papam. And then we're going to get ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more noodles. So we immediately jump to um nine noodles wow that was big all right i think we might have just took the lead oh you know what i've been screwing up a roll the whole time no that's why it's so easy i thought it was way too easy i apologize i have been screwing up one pretty big rule crucial rule which is when I play down a tile with two Tori on it, I'm actually supposed to draw another tile. Now, since I'm in the beginner's version of the game, um, it won't, wouldn't have a whole huge chain reaction, but it definitely does make a difference. So let's see how many times I've screwed that up. I think I did it once. So there's one time there, two times there. Oh, no. So two times. So I feel like the fairest way to do that would be to go... Bing, bang, boom. And now, I feel like that's legit. There we go. We corrected it. We're good to go. We'll also get rid of those two tiles out of the game. Because they should be out of the game. And we'll go from there. Because that's what you do. You screw stuff up, no biggie. Especially in a solo game. <laughs> Alright, so I still have my two tiles that I have to give to them. Which is this one right here. Which I will put there which gives them the pina colada but there's no pina coladas <laughs> in your stupid face and then we got the tower which does not do anything but they do get the red tory which means they're going to get a plus four for the lovely geisha and let's draw three tiles and we're we're closely getting toward the end of the game i believe we have three turns remaining hmm what do we have here let's spend some money so we can't use these two special abilities. Place a tile on top of another garden tile. That sounds like the one. So I think we are going to do that. We're going to spend three bucks. Do we need pina coladas? We have absolutely no need for pina coladas. Well, maybe. Do we go through? Do we stop for pina coladas anywhere along the path? We do right there. But that's still a good chunk of a distance away. Wow. Uh, I can just do this. Yeah. Play it just on top. So we'll spend the three bucks. And uh, does it matter what I spend? Probably not. Because I'm going to be able to get whatever I want at this point. We get ourselves that dude. Which is the gardener. Nice hat, bro. Last gardener. Great. So we did get it before it got away. Which makes me very happy. And we're going to have to give these two. But let's see what we score on the pina. So we get one pina for sure. And then red. So the, that's from here to there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six pina coladas on top of that, which would get us 10 plus the one. And then how many blues we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's pretty good. And what can we do with seven of them? Can we, can we take anything? No, we really should have been focusing on the bridges. Ah! So we will for sure... Oh, I still have a coin left, too. Where did that come from? I've, I will for sure take this with five of them, and then I think I'll get two bridges. I think that is the safest play to go. And then two cats for them. So get that 10-point cat. So I'll flip it over to the 10. And then that just goes there. And I imagine if they get up to six, they would get another one of us there. Maybe not. Maybe it's discarded. But we're not going to find out this game because we have, we're down to probably our last turn uh, after this one. And oh my gosh, that is not pleasant, especially considering I cannot use the Geisha. But I can use the vendor and I have the money, so I really should use the vendor. And that's, which, which one have I not used at all? One of them I haven't used at all. Who's the lady? Who's the lady? Samurai places. Yeah, I should be blocking. Why wasn't I blocking this whole time? So we can at least block the noodle. That's blocking out one gate. Mm, yeah, we'll, we'll use the samurai. We'll spend the two bucks because now it's two bucks. And we'll get rid of the two pini coladas because we care about those the least. And she will block which category will she block? She will block 
Ugh, it's bad no matter what. <laughs> we'll figure out what you blocks in a minute. Let's figure out what's going to help us the most, which is bridges. I think it's bridges. And, of course, we can't get any bridges. Ah! That's unfortunate. What's going to help us second most? Nothing. You know what? So we're going we're gonna to go for the big stuff. We're not actually going to spend those two. We're going to spend one, and we're going to draw a tile. We're going to discard a tile, draw a tile, and hope it's the bridges. It was not. And But the good news is that card is going actually going to get... Uh, oh, it's going to get played. But So it's not the end of the world. So let's play this, and it's the tower, which... When's the last time we hit a tower? Right there. So ooh, maybe we'll go... We'll go like this. That looks solid. Looks solid. Let's see how it plays out. So one tower. Oh yeah. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or uh, this is the first time it's really coming to play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So either way, we can take it. It's still seven. So let's see which one's gonna give us more gates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this one's gonna give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um. Oh, actually, oh, actually, we're going to go the way that's going to give us the most reds, because, duh. Let's see, which would be here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It'll get us to seven, which will get us to nine bridges. Oh, we're so close to glory. But not to be. Oh, wait, whatever. Um, yeah, so we're going to block off the, yeah, we'll, we'll just, we'll just score it. We'll see what happens, because this is going to be the last turn of the game, because this tile is going to get eaten over here, because there's one tile left. So, we'll go with blues, then. We'll go with blues. So we're going one, two, three. Is that right? One, two, three. So three red, which means we're going to get uh, four of the, oh, that, we don't even get the five point. We won't even get to flip it over. We'll get a flip other stuff over there. So we get four of these guys. I don't know, but I don't want to min-max this. <laughs> I hate min-maxing. I hate being that guy. So let's take these four. And, but I definitely could see how you could min-max pretty hard, especially once this gets filled up by uh, by more players. But let's see. What's the blue situation looking like? We got one, two, three, four, five blue, five of whatever, if anything else we want. What do we want? That's the million-dollar question. We need three of these. And that'll give us the 10, so that's pretty good. So let's just do that. Let's just throw caution to the wind. We still have three more left to spend. Oh, 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 we actually have four of these, so we'll spend one here. Oh, no, we, that, we already did that. No. I could get the bridge. Yeah, so I'll spend the other three to get the bridge because we had two, and now we got five. That's great. Solid. Solid play. We still have that stupid coin I forgot to spend. What a noob. So... That probably, man, that play of that coin could have caught. Oh, it's frustrating. Whatever. <laughs> oh, and since we played that one, we'll actually will get one more turn. My mistake. So put this one right. We have to put it. Where's the other one? There's no noodles out here. That's crazy. We'll put it on the PD Collot, actually, because that gives them the three. And we'll put this one right here, which is, we have to put it on the noodles, which doesn't even hurt us. And we lose two tokens, which, whatever. Get rid of two cats. And then we, let me make sure, the game ends when the entire deck of tiles is drawn and used. Oh, and we don't have to give any. Ha ha! Shh, you don't get any, Unatsu. So, what do we want to do? We obviously want to try and score some points here. So, don't min-max too hard. Let's see what we got. Let's see if this is going to work. Pina Colada. Uh, 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 that's decent. Or we could do the tower, but the tower's not going to score us anything. Oh, but we can use another dude, and we should use another dude, because that's going to score us some points. And, oh, we should have gotten this one. Oh, we didn't, we didn't. We forgot to block something last time. Oh, well. Um, did anything happen big for them? No. We'll just we'll just get We got our two points for blocking. So what? which one would we actually like to use? Vendor's not going to do anything. What's the green guy again? He's the gardener. Play a tile on top of another tile. So we'll, we'll probably do that. That'll probably be the most helpful because then we can at least put it right where we want it. So. Oh, actually, that's that's kind of nice. We'll go like this. So we'll go. Whew, yep, all the way back there. Oh, wait. Uh, I'll go, I'll, let's go like this. Either way, it's still going to be good. Oh, we create another enclosure. So we should have got another enclosure point. Score. So that gets flipped over to a four. 
and see. We, oh, actually, we that was the first one. We did not create another enclosure. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Boom and boom. Ha! Almost missed it. Sure, somebody was like, you missed that. But now I'm caught it, and they can't say that. And they're fuming. Actually, is this... Oh, that was almost an enclosure. So let's see what we got. We're going here, so we're going to be getting bridges. So we get two, three, four, five, six bridges. Wow. Or six of the towers, which means we'll flip that over and get um, one more. And then we have one, two... Two, only two of the the other ones, which kind of stinks because I don't think we can afford to really upgrade anything, which is a bummer. So we'll just get two bridges. And I do believe that is the end of the game. So let's figure out how the scoring works on the bad boy. Make sure I do that absolutely right. And the game ends when the entire deck of tiles is drawn and used. So the last turn, if you had blah blah blah, highest score wins. Yeah, pretty simple. <laughs> the player with the most character tokens and achievement pieces wins. So let's make sure we're doing the scoring right, because uh, there you go. And it's just to add the tiles. It's a nice, clean scoring system. I do like that. So what do they have? They have 10, 20, 30, 35. This is where they really got their bread and butter. 43, 51, 53. Oh, that should be, that should be double, that should be 55, uh, 63, I believe 67 points. Let me double check it. 30, 35, 55, 63 points. What do I get? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Oh, wait, that's, yep, 60, 65, 70. Crush it up. 80. Eight, so we got, uh, let's see, 88 points. We win. I will say that we messed up the two times on the tiles, which could have been a big deal. And I think the next time I play this, uh, I'm actually going to play with the, the more advanced rules, which is that when you... Uh, so what I did incorrect was whenever you get a red and a blue, when you get two on there... Is it red or blue? I thought it was just two on there. Let me double check. Oh, it would have to be red. Actually, let me double check that to make sure I say this absolutely correctly. If a tile has two Tori, in addition to the above-mentioned effects, draw one more tile and place it as another Onatsu tile. So she gets to place out another tile. And when you're playing a, 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 the advanced or the beginner's version of the game, you can ignore any Tori on the next tile. But however, if you're playing at the intermediate or the hard version of the game, then those are going to have ramifications, which would score more points. So I do think I'd probably want to play this at the intermediate or the medium mode next time. But there you go. Hopefully now you know how to play 100 Tori and you can decide if that game is going to be for you. If it is, be sure to check that one out. If you're enjoying what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. Also consider supporting the Patreon down below and also answer a question for me if you made it this far. Would you like it if, say, somewhere right, right around here there was a, a smaller picture of me actually playing the game? Because I have the technology now, now that we have the old iPad and the new iPad, to do dual camera shots. But I didn't know if they were really that appealing for solo games i definitely think those uh, I, I always see those as more of something you use when you have two players or more but let me know what you think about it down in the comments below and also let me know in the comments below would you like to see a gameplay with the expansions mixed in if so i'll be sure to do that as well but as always thanks for your time youtube